everyone, Tombstone Ty here at Halloween Haunt for the very first night of 2022's event and oh my goodness, absolutely love the skeletons. I know I said that last year, but uh, uh, my, my feelings have not changed. They are fantastic, just absolutely amazing. So, uh, <laughs> yes, definitely looking forward to checking out everything that is new at the event this year. Uh, including Pandemonium, the maze uh, replacing Blackout, as well as the Day of the Dead Festival and Medieval Fair, and anything else that uh, really stands out to me. Absolutely love Crawler here <laughs> on International Street uh, up at the Gates of Terror. So yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be heading into some of the mazes, but first I'm going to go get grab some food. <laughs> My second meal here at Lazy Bear Lodge uh, is the uh, fish of the day, which I believe is salmon, um, and uh, yeah, jalapeno corn, uh, corn bread, and uh, corn on the cob. Uh, yeah, portion size def definitely needs work in my opinion, but other than that, uh, it is quite tasty. Over here on the side patio of Lazy Bear Lodge, then uh, this is the quote unquote beer jail, as uh, many people like to call it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, that is uh, really, really interesting. Uh, and I appreciate that they do have a stage set up here for some musicians. So yeah, very, very cool uh, to be getting some uh, live entertainment like that uh, here during Haunt and, uh, you know, live music entertainment uh, just on a patio rather than a scheduled show. So yeah, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, interesting to see how this is all working out. All right, I just got out of uh, the ruins and pandemonium after doing uh, zombies. Uh, and yeah, zombies, uh, man, it, it, it definitely needs that refurb that, uh, <laughs> that we all have been asking for. Um, yeah, the, the, like the motion, Simulated motion didn't even seem to be working, so that's that's no good. Uh, but uh, the ruins, uh, the, the set design in there, I, I am still just absolutely amazed by it. I love it so very, very much. Uh, Pandemonium, really, really interesting concept for a maze. Uh, I, I think that it's, uh, yeah, I, I think it's really, really cool. But I think the biggest downside to it is just that it, I'm pretty sure that Blackout was two, uh, it had two separate routes, uh, or routes, um, and so they split you off, and that was just to help capacity. Uh, Pandemonium seems to have two different routes, but it doesn't need it, so it feels like you're walking through half a maze, uh, which is not so great. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, really cool concept. I, uh, I like it. I think that there's uh, a lot of room for expansion with it. Um, and yeah, looking forward to seeing what the park may do with it in the future. Now, time to enjoy Carnival. <laughs> oh, buttons. Fantastic. Always, always, always love the ogre here at the entrance to Medieval Fair. And my goodness, I just got a really incredible scare from somebody who is, uh, is that gay? who is hiding somewhere around here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, very, very cool. And oh my goodness. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Hello. Thank you. 
Oh man, okay. They are definitely embracing the, uh, the story here at Kingdom of Carnage. Love that. Oh my goodness, this person is just having so much fun. I take your spine! <laughs> Your intestines. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm using them at the moment, but uh, <laughs> yes, really, really love this. Uh, fantastic. Hello. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Uh, man, I love quiet on nights. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, just absolutely fantastic. Over here in Medieval Fair, then, uh, yeah, here is the setup for the Day of the Dead Festival. Really love this giant skull and just the way that everything is, uh, yeah, just kind of, uh, uh, creating this nice show space for the stage. Uh, just like this, uh, yeah, sort of semicircle around it. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, very much looking forward to, uh, seeing the performers, uh, a little later in the night. Uh, and, uh, yeah, overall, uh, just really, really love this. Also part of the Day of the Dead Festival, they do have the All Souls Bar uh, and a couple of uh, these uh, locations set up for food. Uh, so yeah, that is very, very cool to uh, get some, uh, you know, uh, what, what do they have here? They have tamales over here and yeah, they just really, really cool that the, that the park is having this uh, every single night of Haunt. Uh, and I am looking forward to trying some of the food uh, in future weeks. I already used uh, one meal for today and I won't be able to get the second one because of timing. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, so yeah, very much looking forward to uh, trying some of this. I am standing on Speed City Raceway, <laughs> directly under Leviathan. Uh, the park has uh, apparently decided to use this as the uh, queue uh, for the crypt, which makes a ton of sense for those busier nights. Um, uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but I am totally cool with that because I like walking on Speed City Raceway, fun times. And, uh, but yeah, it is going to clear out that Leviathan Plaza a bunch, uh, which is, yeah, definitely necessary on those busier nights. So, fun times, getting this, uh, behind the scenes walk. <laughs> Despite the, uh, holiday decor on <laughs> stocking stuffers, um, then, uh, this area, the Bat Plaza, is now trick or treat. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, such a good call. Uh, this plaza has been aching for a, uh, scare zone, and I feel like this is, uh, yeah, a great use of the space. Um, and, yeah, uh, not seeing a ton of, uh, scares at the moment. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Have you gotten any good candy so far tonight? Yeah. The doesn't allow me to have candy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's no good. Well... This makes me a different person! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, see you later! <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, yeah, also, the, uh, pumpkin heads are now here, uh, which is a great call. Uh, love them in front of Shockwave. Uh, yeah, that is looking really, really, really fantastic. Heading into Wicked Hollow in its new location. Uh, and uh, yeah, I definitely think that this is uh, a good fit for it. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, we'll see if I uh, find any familiar friends uh, amongst <laughs> amongst the fairies and, uh, and other uh, wicked creatures here. It's fun times, I do, I do love absolutely love the uh, the sets that they have for this scare zone um, yeah really really great uh, and yeah I would say the one thing that seems to be oh man I love these mushrooms these giant mushrooms are fantastic um, but the, uh, the, the the one thing that I will say uh, just in general I'm not seeing as much fog as uh, as I normally do so not sure if it's just like not set up yet or uh, or what but uh, uh, but yeah that's uh, something to to note and hopefully will be improved upon <laughs> in uh, in future weeks 
just got out of uh, Spirit Manor, and uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't see the uh, the lighting effects, uh, uh, the lightning effects, I should say, <laughs> um, that uh, that are usually in there. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a little disappointing, but uh, but overall, um, yeah, no, it's uh, uh, still one of the better mazes here. <laughs> Corn Stalkers is probably the most well-staffed of the mazes that I've been through tonight, uh, which is very, very good. Um, I, yeah, I still don't love the maze, but it's uh, but it is good. It's uh, it's unique, and I appreciate the uh, extra definition that they have given to the uh, to the queue uh, approaching the area. Uh, so uh, yeah, that is very, very cool. And um, yeah, overall, it's. Uh, it's a good maze. Uh, I, I, I really miss the uh, giant animatronic rat, but can't have everything. Heading into the farmstead, which is uh, basically the most, um, the, the closest you can get to an outdoor maze without, hello, without actually being an outdoor maze. It's fantastic. Oh man. Yeah, this maze is really well done. I like it. Mainly just because I haven't had time to, uh, you know, or I haven't met any of uh, my friends in the other ones. So, yeah, we will, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens uh, later on in the evening and uh, as the weeks go on. But so far, Farmstead is, uh, yeah, definitely my favorite scare zone. It's funny, every other scare zone that I need to uh, up the brightness like crazy. Uh, on my camera, but for Streets of the Undead, <laughs> I feel like I actually need to lower it because, uh, yeah, it is very well lit, but like too well lit. Hello! <laughs> Eat! <laughs> well, I am getting hungry. Uh, <laughs> not quite that hungry though. Uh, yes. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Oh man, okay, yes, this, this scares out. They are doing a fantastic job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really, really, really great. That's, oh, man, I, I, I love this scare zone. I loved it as a maze, but, but it does do uh, a great job as a scare zone as well. <laughs> and yeah, it really is surprising how well it works considering that it is so brightly lit. Just following Parker into the Vampire Disco here. <laughs> oh man, fantastic. Uh, very, very quiet in here tonight, but uh, you know what? That's, that's okay. Uh, it is a quiet night in the entire park, so not, not terribly surprising, but... Uh, Oh, and Veronica's what? Did you just leave me up here? Really great. Really great. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Do I know these ones? Let me know. I think you do. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. <laughs> Toronto Tie and Adventures with Parker. Woo! 
Nice yep. <laughs> it all it. came about to your queen. Absolutely. There, there, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Blood bags who know how to be king. <laughs> Makes me happy. Oh, man. Well, now you've come to the main event of the night. Took you long enough. What was the hold up? <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. You there. know me so well. Music <laughs> to my ears. Now, remind me, what are your blood types? I actually don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, see, I'm probably an O negative kind of girl, but I think I can make an exception for obedient people. <laughs> well, you did bow, which is more than what we've had from most people tonight. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I am so glad you two came to visit. Of course. And Veronica down there, she's just itching <laughs> for somebody to snap on. <laughs> Oh, man. Should I come yeah. down and say hi? Absolutely. If you can, yeah. <laughs> Veronica, can you come fetch me? You know I don't go anywhere without an escort. <laughs> Hello. You're lucky I came down. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean. You know, I prefer being up there away from all the normies, but you have been going for a cookie. You know, I figured I could make an exception. You are giving me attention and fame and well through. Absolutely. Visual, honestly. What is love? <laughs> Veronica, no! <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're, we're showing our true colors here. We're sticking with you instead of following her. <laughs> Disco is uh, <laughs> definitely not my favorite space <laughs> at Haunt, but uh, you know what? This is uh, this is going really really well. I uh, I, I do love the, this choreography, and uh, yeah, the fact that they have this space is really really great. Um, I am uh, oh man, yeah, well done. <laughs> oh hello, hello. <laughs> Oh, bad. Okay, yes. Uh, hanging out in uh, uh, Ghostly Pines, uh, which is one of the very, very classic uh, scare zones here. Uh, and hanging out with Adventures with Parker, of course. Um, yeah, love the use of fog here. Uh, definitely lacking in some of the other areas, but you know what? I will take what I can get. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I, I, I really like this scare zone. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, fun times there. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, uh, oh man, I think he just wanted to ask, ask me a question there. It's, hello. <laughs> oh, just look at this. This is the perfect visual of mine right here. My first meal seemed a little small, so decided to supplement it with a poison apple funnel cake, which is new for this year, and it looks absolutely amazing. Well, that'll about do it for this week here at Halloween Haunt. Absolutely love this event every year. Uh, and uh, yeah, this year is, uh, is no different, uh, except <laughs> uh, some of the scare zones uh, seem to be lacking in fog. Plenty of fog up here on uh, 
International Street, though. Uh, and overall, there are, as far as I can tell, there are way fewer scarers, uh, scare actors uh, than usual. So uh, if you or someone you know needs a job this, uh, this fall, then uh, I do uh, think that it would be good to apply to Canada's Wonderland. Because uh, don't you think it would be fun to, uh, uh, to be scaring me every week? I, I, I think it would be fun. I, maybe for you. I, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> but yes, I did catch uh, a little bit of the Inferno show which was unfortunately having some audio issues, but still love the new location. Uh, the, uh, yeah, Day of the Dead Festival, somehow I missed out on the actual parade and performances completely. <laughs> uh, but I did get to go through every single maze and every single scare zone. Pandemonium, the new maze for this year, I do think that it is, uh, it's fun, it's a cool concept. Definitely try to go through the right side. It is, uh, yeah, they have two different sides to the maze, and the right side is the good side. <laughs> the left side is uh, a, little, a, a little lacking. Uh, it's just a, a little bit shorter, and uh, yeah, overall, just they, they need more scares, but that uh, will hopefully be uh, solved in the, uh, in the coming weeks. And yeah, <laughs> so that'll about do it. Until next time, as always, have a good one! Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.